His coat is um, green. And I like them with tails. That's what this is. This is a tail here. That's a tail. That's the coat tail. That's the back. And I didn't write that because I knew that. And I'm telling you, that's the back. And since it was my imagination, he can come out any way I want him to. Okay, so here we've got it rolled fairly thin, not too thin. Not paper thin, but thin, thin enough that it's not going to wrinkle when you put it on him. And hopefully this is the same size as I made it when I made the my original one. Let's see. All I'm doing is tracing over my pattern and getting it on here so I can cut it out. And again, you can adjust it once you get it on. You can try it on like a tailor, try it on, see if it fits, and adjust it. Let's smooth these edges. Okay, so this is the way it goes. And it wraps around him for a tail. See the tail? And that's the way it fits on. That looks pretty good to me. I think I'm going to curve that a little bit because I don't want it to be so pointy. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and actually did them both the same size when I practiced. Okay, so right up to the top, right around, and down the middle. It's down the center. That's his coat. Okay, now I need to do another one of those. I don't know if I can get another one out of here. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can. And this one's going the other way. I could have flipped my pattern over, but instead I'll just flip my paste over. Woohoo! Okay. So I'm just going to flip my paste over and use the back of it, which is. Yeah, is that a no-no? Yeah. But I'm doing it. Because I do. <laughs> All right, so a little bit. You actually shouldn't put water on the tail, but I definitely need it along the top. Alcohol or water along the top there. Okay, so we know that fits. Right along like that in the front and in the back I'm going to let it overlap a little okay so he's got his little tails and what I'm going to do is a little bit of stitching along the side here just some dots is all I'm doing just down the front here on each side just poke it with a toothpick or you've got a stitching wheel Alright, 